Hello, welcome back. Last time I think I got Monument all the way untangled, and now I need to go... Uh, do something that I've been trying to do for a long time and have not been successful, so hopefully today will be the day. So, over here. Over here. I did parse what had changed in this room. What was it? This dead tree was added, which did cut off a line of reasoning that I was looking at. But I'm not looking at Shipyard today. We're doing Star-Crossed Lovers. Alright, so... This puzzle, I've looked at it from a bunch of different angles and it keeps looking different. So, I'm still learning new things about this. So one thing is there's a statue sight line right there. Okay, so, right. Crux of the puzzle, must sacrifice simultaneously for these to die but this to not because that has to remain alive for me to get out of here. Is this monster block strictly necessary for the room? I can't tell. Seems like just the angry eye and the switch alone would be enough, but maybe the monster block has a reason for being. It doesn't have to have a reason for being, it can just be there, that's fine. Alright, so... I had a way once, did I save any replays here? No. <laughs> I had a way once to get a statue here. Could I easily do that again? Yes, but it sacrificed something that I care about. Okay, but I can trivially do it again, like this. Yeah, there's a flying snake there, whatever. So that's what that looked like. Alright, yeah, so, I, I mean, sure, since I asked the question. There's a replay in case I really want to reference that. Okay. Let's check some assumptions one more time. Actually, let's do a fresh parse of the room. Just forget any assumptions. Alright, so I'm gonna go into a mode where I simply observe what I'm seeing and see what follows from there. Because sometimes, sometimes when I do that I see new things that I haven't seen before. So, there's a monster gate here which shows me all the monsters in the room. We have one angry eye, two bomb bugs, two statues, three monster blocks, two more angry eyes, and one flying snake. So in terms of killing the monsters, I can get you out and take care of you anytime just with anybody stepping on that pressure plate. You can die easily. You I have never interacted with. But in this little roleplay I'm doing, I don't know that yet. Uh, statues I can get out trivially. And yeah, if I can get the statues out trivially, I can get you out trivially. So, four loose tools. One locked up tool. These things, which are not tools for anything, maybe, except for sacrificing, maybe. And these goals. Alright, these goals, and then this uh, check that you've done everything right. So, hang on. So, we're trying to do a fresh parse. Pressure plate does this. Yeah, so, fresh parse, right, starts with what are the monsters in the room? How do they die? I have answers for- right, okay, so now, this angry eye dies by either one thing being sacrificed and not the other, or, just, just gonna do this again just in case I see anything new about it. I can step here, that door is connected only to this pressure plate, this door is connected only to that toggle switch. Okay, see, now I'm looking at this little mechanism and seeing if there's any way to, like, sneak my way out somehow. I can't double toggle this somehow. I can't step here from the south with it being unpressed. I can't hop over this as far as I can see. Yeah, there's no way to gain elevation. Retoggling this has no particular effect. It just gets me stuck in here. Hi, statue. You're, uh... Coming in my territory. Okay. Also, there's a sign to read once I've cleared the room. Okay, so this is matching exactly my previous parses. But that was a useful exercise just in case it didn't somehow. Okay, but let's go a little deeper. This monster block does nothing. These two... They're both in corners. 
but the type of corners where they can be pushed out diagonally. Things that can push diagonally include explosions and statues. Explosions and active statues could push this way or this way. So the active statues are mostly going to be moving west to east. So the natural way that they interact with the monster blocks would look like this. A sacrifice has been made that can't avoid making the sacrifice. Ooh. statues. If number one would... I mean, I can't for obvious reasons, and I can't put it there. What if I did this? And then got number two. Uh, got number two like... this. Okay, so both statues can be pulled around in that same way. This rubble is incomplete as far as, like, making a barrier that I can get around here, but you can kind of see what I'm going for. Like, I get the statue down there, I walk here, I make the monster block make the other stepping stone here. Could I instead just do the statue? Not really. Okay, so if I hadn't killed that statue right there... Could I put the monster block in the water and still also put a statue here? Yes, I think so. Just gotta get this out of the way and then do the thing with the other statue. That yeah, doesn't put the monster block there. That puts the statue there. Right, but that's what I was talking about. So a sacrifice has been made. Room is lost in several different ways. So Bombug can come out takes some doing, but it can happen. Let's see if there's anything I haven't thought about with putting bomb bugs here in this area. Not particularly. Seems about as straightforward as I'd expect. Okay, so my next question is, does it absolutely have to be both monster blocks at the same time being sacrificed here and here. That's the most natural looking way, but also has so far been impossible to do. Is there a less natural way to do it, or is there a way to resolve the impossibility? Why do I say it's impossible? Because I don't know how to kill a statue here or here without disrupting the monster blocks. The only way that could happen... ...without being able to teleport or something... Okay, now hang on, hang on, wait. Wait, wait, wait. There was, there was a thing, there was a special, magical, extra property of, uh, the room here. Uh, I'll have to just ignore the bomb bug for a second, but, like, this flying snake can do something really interesting. It can hold a statue's hand and just kind of get it... Okay, how did I do these things? This was a while ago, but now I can space out the snake. Do something like... Let's see, how did I do this? Like that. How do I do the hand-holding? Like this, okay. So you're forcing the statue to move a certain way. 
I could have been further south when I did this. Now, I can't just do this wherever I want, though, because Statue's gonna start sidestepping. So it kinda has to be... just right here. Okay, maybe I could be farther away the other way, though. Hmm, maybe not. I could put you further north, that's an option. Let's do that. Ah! <laughs> Maybe not yet. Okay. I could put you farther south if I desired. Could I make that work? Maybe. Yes, okay, so here's some hand-holding. Like, this is a super interesting property and seems like about the only thing I can imagine the flying snake being used for. Ooh! So I prevented you from putting that on the sacrifice altar. Nothing good came of it, but it was kind of neat that I did it, though. If you could hand-hold to, like, here... I could totally kill you in that spot. So maybe this is what I'm doing. Let's focus on this funny interaction. Use the flying snake to lead the statues to the water. But I can't make them drink. So... Uh, for this, I would want to be north one... Oh boy. If I'm here... Uh, I just don't get where I'm going in time. That's kind of close to something. Not close enough, though. to walk. Did I want a bum bug trailing behind me? Let's see, could I have... No, there's no way. I can't have a bum bug sitting here to create an L bracket like that. And even if I could, having statue here while I walk up there still wouldn't end with it dying in the water. So best I can do is one away with this pattern. Like I'm imagining using bomb bugs to extend this surface upward, but there are so many reasons that won't work. But if a statue were here against a wall there and I was there, I'd step here, it'd be there, I'd step here, it'd be there, and I'd kill it in the water, and it'd be great. Flying Snake would be right on me then, so I couldn't reuse it for this unless I can do it with it being only one away. So just for fun, let's say it was only one away. So you, let's get real friendly. Uh, parity's not right, so let's change it. Can I use this widget for something? Ooh, I can turn it! Okay, so I can only turn it on those axes. Okay, now it linearized. So using a snake buffer, I can get a statue to move orthogonally, basically, all around me. Well, I also need walls like this. And also the flying snake has to move first, which it does, because it's started way up there. This feels like something. I 
Ah, uh, but I can't continue the pattern this way, huh? Uh, what did the pattern look like before? Hang on, so why did that break? Because I can't convince the statue to step... Well, no, because the reason it broke was because of... This move right here. The statue steps one farther away from Leaf in that case. Okay. Also, right, so... No, it's more like the direction the snake is moving. Uh, okay. This is interesting. But I don't see it going anywhere. Right? Because, like, what could I even do here? If I were to involve a bum bugs at some point... Could I scrape off the statue in an appropriate place and get it into the water? Like, I just don't see how this train results in... Unless I can step across the water. Like, sure, then I could get the statue in it just fine, but I can't. Unsurprisingly. Okay, so I've already killed a bomb bug. But they just need to be preserved for the later explosion. So yeah, so they both have to survive. Alright, so... I don't get this tool until both statues are awake. I get one bomb bug for the process down here. The other one just comes in later, but you, you are given to me as a loose tool at the start. So somehow I want to involve you in this situation to improve my life. What could that look like? Is this involved? Like, this is very interesting, but is it actually involved here? I could add a bomb bug to this process anywhere, anytime, just about. I mean, within some limits. The end result I want is statue dead in water. Can the bomb bug act as a cork to, like, put the statue away somewhere. Where, is there anywhere I could put away the statue that would result in me being able to get it out and get it in the water? Like, that's kind of the the real big problem here. Just, like, there's no, no angle I can use to do that. Or so it would seem. As far as move order goes, this bomb bug moves later than both the statue and the flying snake. So if you're not moving earlier than the statue, this one moves earlier. I can't really get it out without awakening both of these though. And once they're awake, there's not a lot I'm going to be doing with them other than just guiding them straight here. But it is cool that this lets me circle around. So let's just look at these moves real close. Is there a time when adding a bomb bug into the situation ah, could result in me having anything I want? I don't see how. If I go any further north, then I just lose my advantage. That doesn't work. I'm trapped. I can't have the bomb bug too close to me or it will go away 
in a very explosive way. Okay. Now, I can do this leading by the head thing from a greater distance, but it affects the, the way the statue moves. Like, the parameters change. If I try to turn... I can't turn the whole machine around. Like that. Okay, so I can wait until there and then get closer and go the other way around. Sure, but I've already looked at this. How can you help, Bumbugby? Or are you just loose here to get in the way? Okay, here's another way Flying Snake could theoretically help. If I had the statue down in one of these areas, like trying to turn this corner coming toward me here, I don't know how any of that would happen, but if it did, if the flying snake were just for one turn in the way of pushing the monster block, it would preserve that while the statue turns this corner as if this is solid. But I think there are several things in that hypothetical that just will not happen no matter what. Is there something simple I'm missing? Like, just some piece of geometry I haven't considered? If I could teleport a statue over here, it still wouldn't help me kill it in the water here. Like, yeah, here's my big thing. I just don't know how to approach the water. Approaching the water with a statue to kill it in it seems impossible. Most of the ways I picture have Leaf in the south and Statue in the north, just because this is a lot more solid than this. Okay, here's something to think about. There's a hypothetical where if I could put a stepping stone in one of these two, then push the monster block onto it, I could have a loose monster block for moving around and moving the bomb bug around. Hey, wait a second. Nah, I can't do it. I was thinking of getting the bomb bug between these two so it'd be running back and forth and then use its explosion to kill a statue, which I think would make a stepping stone? can't set that up to test here anywhere. And I still need your explosion later, so you won't be exploding with what I'm trying to do here. But yeah, let's say I could get a loose monster block out. Like, once I've pushed it from here to here, I have free reign to push it around, to, and then I can put it back whenever I want. So that could chase a bomb bug around. Okay, so if I were able to chase a bomb bug, I could get it down into this area for one thing. Which could be desirable for something somehow, maybe? It's not going to be a problem to get them both onto stepping stones here and here once those are in place. Like, that's, that's a trivial part of this. So, what's my angle for killing on the water? I have to kill at least one. Do I, like, somehow initiate all of this stuff, then walk down here, have the snake handhold with the statue to bring it over then I just let it come to me here and kill it? 
I'd probably kill the flying snake in the process, but maybe that's okay. How could it be, though? Because I'm gonna have to repeat that process for the other st- No, I don't. Once there's one stepping stone, let's say I place this one here first. Other one is trivial to place there. Here we go. Okay, so this is an important insight. If there were a stepping stone here, second one does not require any assistance to create. Yes, okay. So my goal is to place a stepping stone here, and I'm starting to see a way that I might be able to do that. And I might see the bomb bug's job in that, too. Okay, this is promising. First, let's do it without the bomb bug and see how close I can get. But I think I see the pattern I want to walk. Oh, I see exactly the pattern I want to walk. So this corner is important, right? Hey, things are happening. Now, are they real things or are they imaginary things? I might be imagining, but I think I see a route. And it's pretty simple, actually. It's just this, right? Ah, so problem. That statue's going to step aside at the wrong time. The flying snake turns too late. So it would have to be approaching from a different angle for this to work. Okay, well that's doable. Uh, if it were a little closer than that, like here? But then it won't turn. It's coming from the wrong spot. Okay, so let's bring it a bit closer and... Maybe I can wiggle and make this happen. I want to wiggle like this, I think. With different timing. No, I'm not nearly far enough ahead for that. See, I'm trying to be far enough in here that the flying snake can hold the statue's hand from this row. Statue goes in that row. I position myself here. Everybody comes to me. I kill this. Who comes to me first? Flying snake. I kill the flying snake. I kill the statue actually here. Ah, now is that a problem? If I'm standing here... Okay, I can... Ah! I can test this. Right, I don't have to test, I know how statue preferences work. So if there's a tiebreaker, like if we're exactly diagonal from each other, and it has an obstacle where it wants to go, it will prefer vertical. Which is exactly the way I don't want it to go for here. That means if I'm standing here... I'm standing here, the statue won't end up there. So what about the other way around? If there's a stepping stone here, I'd have to get all the way around this statue and then lead it here and kill it that way, and I think that's much less likely than the other way around. This is where the first stepping stone goes. But how does it do that? Okay, so now, let's involve a bomb bug. The bomb bug could be somebody to prevent the statue from, like, using that vertical preference at the appropriate time. Or it could be a snake bouncer. If you want to bounce the snake at a different time, bomb bug could maybe do it. Also, let's see, so statue here, flying snake there. No, it doesn't result in what I need. If I were standing here in this... Oh! Oh, 
Okay. Killing some hypotheticals. Uh, the bomb bug can also hold the statue's hand, right? Just a little bit differently. At, I guess, this offset? Yes, okay, your hand is being held. We could have probably done that a little bit farther south. Ooh, I don't know, that seems unlikely. Because I can't get the bomb bug any farther west than this after I move it south. I was hoping it would run over the, uh, the pressure plate on its way, so I wait, what, once? If I get out of your row, you stop moving for this. Ooh. Okay. It's not good enough, but it's something. So Snake's pretty cooperative. Now I do have to cross Bombug's line of travel. Oh. Yeah, so I lose... Okay, hang on. So first of all, let's just work with just the Bombug. So if I get you out, and I want to like move you south a bit and then back over. Again, this is as far over as you go. Is that okay, maybe? What if you're one more north? And you bring the... Maybe this is just all timed very exactly. Ooh, no, nothing good happens there. Oops, what if I move you up instead of down? Well, then there's no way you're gonna uh, hold that statue's hand. Then I get another statue, by the way. Ah... Uh, Maybe, like, one of you is vertical and one is horizontal? Yes, yeah, so the fact that you turn stationary when turning around there is kind of interesting. Okay, so now there's also the possibility of, uh... Ooh, wait a second. Could I somehow... Just do something very different? What am I picturing here? How much can I do from a distance? Where would you need to be? Here? From all the way over here, I can do some things of some interest. I mean, that still amounts to the same thing, ultimately. Okay, so now if the flying snake were involved... Could it do something special for me here? I could have the snake do the horizontal component and the bomb bug do a vertical component somehow. Somehow. I don't know, I feel like I'm getting farther away from the solution here. But there's still unexplored space here. Well, obviously there is, since I haven't solved it yet. There's just so much going on here. I can think with a snake and I can think with a bug, but doing both at the same time... is a lot more complicated, as it turns out. So I have one turn to wait there. I haven't brought a snake to myself yet. That would not help. That would not help. Nope. I have to be at least this far over. Just 
just can't see how this would do the job. Unless... Snaky things. Uh, this is not a good time to do snaky things, is it? Alright, I have to do snaky things before buggy things, I think. Okay, sure. Let's. Change your frame of reference a bit. Well, dang it, that's not what I want. Okay, I guess I can't go that far north. Not great. Oh. What am I trying to do? I want the bomb bug. Somewhere around here. I want the snake to hold the statue's hand, I don't know, in some row around here somewhere. I want to walk it over, so let's just imagine. I'm here, snake is here, statue is th th there. No, snake is here, statue is there. So that whole package moves over like this. Snake goes first, bug bumps into it, and is still there. Statue is here now. Snake goes here, statue goes there. Snake goes, then statue goes and gets in front of the bomb bug. Yeah, so I was trying to cap it off here with the flying snake on the other side is what I really wanted. Uh, there's like so many reasons this wouldn't work. Even if I could do this, it wouldn't result in Snake being west of Statue, it'd be to the east. So I'd still just have the same problem if I can't get close enough to make the kill here. Okay. Man, this puzzle's hard. Okay, well, I learned a few new things about it. I guess this is just going to be a multi-day process while I keep on learning more about this layout and what I can do with it. Because I'm not there yet, but I have to get there. I need this key. So we're here as long as this is going to take. I'll see you next time for this again.